Dallas and see a guy. No? And like I said, get in your mind, you brothers that believe that you're in the left, get in the mind frame, but a lot of motherfuckers around you gonna drop the fuck dead. Yeah. By various yeah. means, so give them that, give them that hard for us first. No. The slain of the Lord shall be many. Slain, that, that's right. Yeah. Doing tobacco pasta, including your members of your family. That Uncle Buster that's a big hit at the Bobby family. Bobby oh, he going to die. That nigga going to die. We're going to take that chip. He might take the chip that day and walk out and get struck by light or run over by a fat truck. I like Uncle Buster. He's so cool. Well, he ain't going to be cool on that. You ain't going to be cool in the casket, nigga. Pork chops and applesauce. Pork chops and applesauce. Yeah, uh, the, the, you know, Aunt, Auntie May May with her wig to the side. You know, the Ooh. fucked up wig that she wears every Sunday to the church. She's going to take it. Oh, oh, yeah. It's a blessing if you die now. Yeah. Hey, it's a, it's a blessing if you die before the chick comes. Yeah. yeah. It says, yeah. But, but beloved. Be what we're preaching is doom and gloom. Oh, yeah. Doom and gloom. That's, that's the You guys are using fair tactics. You yeah. damn skipheads. Yeah. You got damn right. Got that. You're trying to scare people. No, we ain't trying to scare people. We scare you, nigga. <laughs> Shalom to the nation of Israel. Before we get started, I want to say all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honor to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth. To the hopeful elect out there scattered abroad, unlike it to a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David, 144,000 mighty men. Peace, blessings, salutations, and to the remnant, men, women, children, shalom, right? So this your brother Shopper, man. So, yeah, so you heard the apostles. You heard heard the, the um apostles of GMS, man. You got to get your mind ready, man. A lot of, we coming crunch time. A lot of people going to get slain. A lot of family members not going to make it. Lord willing, you know, family members, as many as possible, make it, but... You got to get prepared for the fact that judgment coming, man. Judgment is coming, and it's going to be a lot of slain, man. It's going to be a lot of slain, man. A lot of slain. A lot of people are going to be slain, man. A lot of people. Got people coming on the Apostles Common Board scoffing. You got people going on the Elder Common Board in South Carolina, Elder Manatha Zakbar complaining about the brother that's out there doing the work because he he not reading up to what you think he should be reading up to but he doing the work why you scoffing on a damn comment boy the lord gonna kill a lot of people man jeremiah chapter let's go 25 and 27 therefore thou shalt say unto them thus saith the lord host the power of israel drink ye and be drunken, and spew, and fall, and rise no more, because of the sword which I will send among you. And it shall be, if they refuse to take the cup at thine hand to drink, then shalt thou say unto them, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Ye shall, you, ye shall certainly drink. No, we not. We, we gonna be fine. It don't matter if we eat pork. It don't matter if we eat crabs. It don't matter if we mock and scoff and, and, and mock the, the true men of the Lord. That don't matter. Okay, let's see. For lo, I will bring, begin to bring evil on the city which is called by my name. Which is called by my name. And should ye be utterly unpunished, ye shall not be unpunished. For I will call for a sword upon all the inhabitants of the earth saith the Lord of hosts. Therefore, the Lord of armies. Uh, uh, Exodus 15 and 3, the Lord is a man of war. Therefore, prophesy thou against them all these words and say unto them, the Lord shall roar from on high and utter his voice from his holy habitation. He shall mightily roar upon his habitation. He shall give a shout as they that tread the grapes against all the inhabitants of the earth. A noise shall come even to the ends of the earth, for the Lord hath a controversy with the nations, even the nation of Israel. He will plead with all flesh. He will give them that are wicked to the sword, saith the Lord. 
thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, evil shall go forth from nation to nation, even the nation of Israel, and a great whirlwind shall be raised up from the coast of the earth. And the slain of the Lord shall be at that day from one end of the earth even unto the other end of the earth. Then shall they shall not be lamented, neither gathered, nor buried. They shall be done for the ground. Huh? The Lord is not playing, man. The Lord is not playing. And these times are coming, and you need to be preparing yourself for the fact that these times are coming real soon, man. Very soon. These times are coming, man. Let's get this one. Let's get it, Isaiah. Yeah. The Lord is not playing, man. And these scriptures, everything written a four time is written for our learning, man. Isaiah chapter 66 and 15. For lo, for Salakia, for, be, for behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. To render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. Yeah. So it's going to be family members sprinkled in with that slain, man. Because, hey, man, they know. Your family know. Family know. Your family know what you out there doing after a certain amount of time. Oh, he's still out there teaching the Bible. He's still doing that. He's still believing in that Israelite crap. You know what I mean? The family know. They know. They know. What you going to do? You can't beat them over the head. It's the Lord that make them make you get it or not. The Lord gives the increase. You can't make them get nothing, man. It's up to the Lord to get to make them get it. But you hear the apostles. What the apostles, the apostles is warning you, man. They is warning us to get ready because, man, I hate, man, do that all the time. When you want it to not do it, it, it don't do it. The slain of the Lord shall be many. Slain, that, that's right. Yeah. Including tobacco pasta, including your members of your family. That Uncle Buster that's a big hit at the Bobby family. Oh, well, he going to die. That nigga going to die. We're going to take that chick. He might take the chick that day and walk out and get struck by light or run over by a fat truck. I like Uncle Buster. He's so cool. Well, he ain't going to be cool on that. You ain't going to be, 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 be cool in the casket, nigga. Pork chops and applesauce. Man. Yeah, uh, the, the, you know, Aunt, Auntie May May with her wig to the side. You know, the fucked up wig that she wears every Sunday to the <laughs> church. Take it. Oh, oh, to me. It's no. a blessing if you die now. Yeah. Hey, it's a, it's a blessing if you die before the chick comes. Yeah. yeah. It says, yeah. But, but beloved. Be what we're preaching is doom and gloom. Man. Oh, yeah. Doom and gloom. That's, that's the You guys are using fair tactics. You yeah. damn skipped yeah, exactly. You got damn right. Yeah, got You're trying to scare people. No, we ain't trying to scare people. We scared you, nigga. And you really gonna be scared when this thing goes down. Scared. Yeah, you really gonna be scared when this thing go down, man. <laughs> Ezekiel 3 and 17, the Lord said warn them. The Lord said warn them for me, man, and we warning y'all, man. We are warning y'all, man. We are warning y'all. Where, where, where? Let's go, um... We are warning y'all. Let's get um Ezekiel. Let's get Ezekiel 9 and 4. We are warning y'all what's coming, man. It's plain as day. Ezekiel 9 and 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that done in the midst thereof, that be done in the midst thereof. So if you if you comfortable in this system, you don't have no problem with the direction that this society is going. You feel you in line with the way we going and your um, understanding of what is acceptable and the scriptures is evolving. And the Bible is the white man's book. and The Bible is racist and the Bible is 
homophobic. If you in that mind frame, yeah, you going you probably going to be stretched out soon. You going to be one of them stretched out. Ezekiel 9 and 5. And to the others he said in my hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids. Slay utterly old and young, both maids, old ladies, and children, and women. But come not near any man whom upon whom is the mark, the exemption from judgment, the tawa. Not the same mark in Revelation 13, 16. Two different marks. And begin at my sanctuary. Then they begin at the ancient men which were before the house. And then go down. Oh, seven. And he said unto them, defile the house and fill the courts with the slain. Go ye forth. And they went forth and slew the city. See? And it came to pass while they were slaying them, and I was left, that I fell upon my face and cried and said, O Lord Power, wilt thou destroy all the residue of Israel in thy pouring out of thy fury upon Jerusalem? Then said he unto me, The inequity of the house of Israel in Judah is exceeding great, and the land is full of blood, gang members, all of this, you seen a wife just kill her husband on Facebook Live after just, just find he want to leave. She, oh, they got a history of um, violence and all of that, um, domestic violence. She put a, t a post up saying that he was bisexual. Ain't no proof, ain't no evidence, just a couple of pictures where he hugged her with her. So they saying they agree with her just off the pictures. She got a gun in her, got a gun on her, must be. So she go start the fight and kill him. Shoot him one time in front of the kids on Facebook Live. And the first thing out of her mouth is, oh, I'm going to jail. Not, oh, baby, I'm sorry. I'm, oh, I'm going to jail. And a city full of perverseness, for they say the Lord hath forsaken the earth, and the Lord seeth not. And as for me also, my eye shall not spare, neither have I pity, but I will recompense their way upon their head. You got another wife, say her husband was sexually abusing somebody, or abusing the kids, or whatever the case. She don't file no report, she don't, ain't no report filed or nothing, she just go kill him. They, she, she, she cop out to it. They only give her two, supposed to give her two years, but the judge gave her four, and she upset with that. And then you turn around and go, what if that was a man that his say accused his wife of doing something, but it wasn't no evidence, nowhere that it, it that that what he accusing of of doing she ain't do, and he just killed her. Would he get two years? Would he get? Would, would he be offered two years? Would he get four years? Yeah, this place is upside down, man. The perversion of this place. This place need the reset button, man. If you don't see this place need the reset button, you are a fucking bug out. You are a bug out. But knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade, man, man. Let's get it. Second Corinthians. Salakia. Second Corinthians 5. Yeah, the Lord going to do some hurting, man. The Lord is going to do some hurt in 2 Corinthians 5 and 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he have done, whether it be good or bad. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto the Most High, and I trust also are made manifest in your conscience. Yeah. So we out here, we trying to warn you, we trying to warn you, we trying to warn you that the ju that judgment begins at the house of the Lord. Period. It starts with us. It starts with us. First Peter 4 and 17. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the Lord. And if it first begins at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? The righteous scarcely going to be saved. So we going to go through it too, man. 
the elder elder Hawaii yesterday said it need to be more lessons like this going up, man. And I agree. I was thinking about it as I was coming home. I was like, yeah, I agree, man. Need to warn heads because heads don't know what's coming, man. Because Christianity telling you that the Bible and the Lord is all happy and sweet. It's not no bitter with the Lord. And they not giving you, they not giving you the, the full. Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the times, because the days are evil. No, they peaceful. They cheer. That's they prosperity. Redeeming the times because the days are evil. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understand what the will of the Lord is. The will of the Lord is he going to kill two-thirds of his people when he come back, man. He going to kill two-thirds of his people, man. Going to kill two-thirds of his people. Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. Two parts therein shall be cut off and die. But the third shall be left therein. The Lord going to cut off two parts of his people, man. Oh, no, that's not going to happen. You guys, like the Apostle Taha, Elder Apostle Taha said, you damn right you better be scared, man. Amos 9 and 10. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. You get that? You see it? You seeing it? You seeing a pattern here? Are you seeing a pattern that's developing right here? <laughs> Are you looking at the pattern that's developing? Isaiah chapter 5 verse 25. Twenty-four. Mm. Twenty-four. Therefore, as the fire devoureth the stubble, and the flame consumeth the chaff, so their root shall be as rottenness, and their bosom shall go up as dust, because they have cast away the law of the Lord of hosts. No, the law is done away with, and despise the word. Of the Holy One of Israel. No, we prefer Christianity because what y'all teaching us out the scriptures is not true. Y'all are y'all are trying to fear tactic us. Y'all are trying to scare us. All right, let's see what the scriptures say. Therefore, is the anger of the Lord kindled against his people, and he has stretched forth his hand against them, and have smitten them, and the hills did tremble, and their carcasses were torn in the midst of the street. For all this, his anger is still not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. Yeah, the Lord is still, he's still, he's still giving you a chance to repent, man. Jacob's trouble ain't start yet. The famine of the word hasn't started yet. So he's giving you a chance to repent. He got his hand stretched out and you ain't listening and he is not listening. And the Lord going to do some hurting, man. The Lord, <laughs> Lord going to do some hurting, man. The Lord is going to do some hurting. Jeremiah 9 and 21, I think. Mm. 19, Jeremiah 9 and 19. For a voice of wailing is heard out of Zion. From all we spoiled... We are greatly confounded because we have forsaken the land because our dwellings have cast us out. Yet hear the word of the Lord, O ye woman, and let your ear receive the word of his mouth and teach your daughters wailing and everyone her neighbor lamenting, lamentation, Salakia, for death is come up into our windows and is entered into our places to cut off the children from without and the young men from the streets. Speak, thus saith the Lord, even the carcasses of men shall fall as done upon an open field, and the, as the hand fall after the harvestmen, and none shall gather them. See? <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
say it, man. The Lord is not playing. The Lord is coming, and the Lord going to hurt something, man. The Lord going to hurt something. You better hope it's not you. You better hope and pray it's not you. Let's go. Here you go. Let's finish off with this. Let's, let's finish off with this. Ezekiel chapter 21 verse 8. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me saying, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith the Lord, say a sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbished. It is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? Should we then make mirth be partying and chilling and, and having a good time? It contendeth the rod of my son as every tree, and he have given it to be furbished that it may be handled. This sword is sharpened, and it is furbished to give it unto the hand of the slayer. Mm. Cry and howl, son of man, for it shall be upon my people. It shall be upon all the princes of Israel. Terrors by reason of the sword shall be upon my people. Smite therefore upon thy thigh. Mm, huh? Yeah. So yeah, so I'm just saying, man, the the law gonna slay some shit, man. And you could keep going all day, man. You could you could keep you you could keep going in Ezekiel 21. It's all, all going down. The Lord talking about effing Israel up, man. So, yeah, you better get your mind right, man. You better get your mind right. You better get your mind in the right frame of mind and prepare yourself for what's coming, man. Whether you believe it or not, you better understand what the scriptures say, man. The scriptures say something is coming, and that something is a lot of killing, man. Scared. The slain of the Lord shall be many. That, that's right. Yeah. Two tobacco pastor, including your members of your family. That Uncle Buster, that's a big hit at the Bobby family. Oh, he's going to die. That nigga going to die. We're going to take that chick. He might take the chick that day and walk out and get struck by light or run over by a fat truck. I like Uncle Buster. He's so cool. Well, he ain't going to be cool on that. You ain't going to be cool in the casket, nigga. Pork chops and applesauce. Yeah, uh, the, the, you know, Aunt, Auntie May May with her wig to the side. You know, the fucked up wig that she wears every Sunday to the church. She's going to take that. Oh, 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 oh. It's a blessing if you die now. Yeah. Hey, it's a, it's a blessing if you die before the chicken comes. Yeah. yeah. It says, but, but beloved. Be what we're preaching is doom and gloom. Man. Oh, yeah. Doom and gloom. That's, that's the You guys are using fair tactics. You yeah. damn skipped yeah, exactly. You got damn right. Yeah, got You're trying to scare people. No, we ain't trying to scare people. We scared you, nigga. And you really gonna be scared when this thing goes down. You're scared, ain't you? Yeah. <laughs> so with that one, we gonna close out. <laughs> and Apostle Elder Apostle Ramlob is like the ad lib. <laughs> Apostle Tahar say something. We is scared. You scared too, ain't you? And Apostle Ramlob, you scared, ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> so with that one, we're going to say all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekahakwadash, double honors to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth, to the hopeful elect out there scattered abroad, unlike it to a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David, 144,000 mighty men, peace, blessings, salutations, to the remnant, men, women, children, remain spiritual out there, man. Remain spiritual, me included. Kwam Yasharala and the Bible Bible. Rock a thumb, family. Shalom.